Picture in your mind, an Orwellian dystopia like 1984, a world in which you have no rights, no freedom, no property, no family, no country, no religion, no say, and no nothing. UN Agenda 21 is the blueprint for such a world. The infrastructure has already been set. Agenda 2030 is a milestone in Agenda for Century 21. This is the context in which all current events must be seen. We are wasting our time discussing whether the CV-19 is real or whether the lockdowns are justified. They are real and justified, in terms of the pernicious goals of Agenda 21. This is the picture into which all the puzzle pieces fit. Deafen the police. Systemic racism. Climate change. Rural fires and displacement. Artificial intelligence. Mass surveillance. Transhumanism. Sustainability. As Rosa Quarry explains, they are all part of UN Agenda 1984. The scary part is that 179 countries signed on to this world government tyranny at the Rio summit in 1992. That's how advanced this agenda is, and for the most part, humanity is oblivious to the danger it faces. The media doesn't report it, and therefore we tend to dismiss Jeremiah's like Rosa Corey and Nikki Rapana. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. They are literally constructing 1984. This is the logic behind the insanity we are witnessing. This is where our focus should be. I have been saying that the Kabbalist Jewish bankers wish to extend their monopoly over government credit into a monopoly over everything. In 1938, insider Chaim Murkowski told his NKVD interrogator that the bankers created the communist state as a machine of total power, unprecedented in history. In the past, due to many factors, there was always room for individual freedom. Do you understand that those who already partially rule over nations and worldly governments have pretensions to absolute domination? Understand that, this is the only thing which they have not yet reached. Rosa Quarry says Agenda 21 is the blueprint, the action plan, to inventory and control, all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all education, all energy, all information, and all human needs in the world. It is a comprehensive plan. What is unsustainable? Agenda 21 posits, is that the middle-class lifestyle of owning property, a yard, and cars is not sustainable. Corey said, emulating the argument for dense urban planning. Life in the suburbs and rural areas is unsustainable, because it produces too many greenhouse gas emissions. It is the kind of thing that makes you sound crazy when you talk about it. Well it is crazy, but we aren't. The fact that the bankers are going to this much trouble to enslave us gives me hope that they are not planning to kill us in an orchestrated nuclear war. But the bottom line is that we are being distracted from the big picture. Our minds have been trivialized. We are incapable of recognizing the danger in which we find ourselves. We are complicit in our own destruction. Rosa Quarry is a beacon of light in very dark times. I will be watching all her videos, ordering her book, and maybe, I will joining her organization. Community-oriented policing, under the Department of Justice, will encourage, if not require, people to watch their neighbors and report suspicious activity. More activity will be identified as crime, such as obesity, smoking, drinking when you have a drinking problem, name-calling, leaving lights on, neglect of children, elderly, and pets, driving when you could ride a bike, breaking a curfew, and failure to do mandatory volunteering. The community will demand more law enforcement to restore order, and more rules and regulations will ensue. The lines between government and non-governmental groups will blur more and more, as unelected local groups make policy decisions using the Delphi technique to manufacture consensus. The Chinese and Russian models are instructive in what you can expect under communitarianism. Read Nian Cheng's Life and Death in Shanghai, and Alexander Solzhenitsyn's The Gulag Archipelago for real-world examples. The War on Terror is a communitarian plan designed to terrorize you. The key thing to know about this is that of course, you have no input. Only comments and observations that support the pre-approved plan will be supported. All others will be written on a big pad of paper and discarded later. The illusion of public buy-in is all that is needed. The organizers can later point to the fact that they held a public meeting, a certain number of residents attended, public comment was taken, and the community approved the plan. The facilitator is often a private consultant who has been professionally trained in running and managing a meeting. 
This consultant has been hired by your city to fulfill the requirement that the project has been seen and supported by its citizens, it's your plan. Delphi is used in school board meetings, in training, at neighborhood association meetings, and other places where the organizers want to give the appearance that they have listened to community opinion and incorporated it into their plan. Essentially, the UN Agenda 21 plan is about establishing a one-world totalitarian government, which does not bode well for we the people. She urges us to wake up because it is one of the most vitally important issues of our age. Quarry put her concerns into action by establishing the Post-Sustainability Institute to educate people about the economic, social, political, and environmental impacts of what she calls communitarianism on the world, where individual rights should be balanced against the rights of the community. However, this community we think we are part of is constructed by non-governmental organizations or NGOs, corporations and government in order to dictate and regulate what it is that happens around the world. And we, as individuals, have literally no influence on that unless we are in agreement with it. In such a construct, dissenters are essentially made outcasts, she said. Not only is Rosa Quarry exposing the insidious hidden agenda and the UN Agenda 21 to the world through the Post-Sustainability Institute, she is also suing local government to put a stop regional plans, since regionalization is the stepping stone to globalization. And globalization is the standardization of all systems. That includes water, food, law enforcement, education, energy. All systems have to be brought into harmony in order to control them all, because when systems are not in sync with one another, they can't be controlled centrally. So now the same old treacherous fascist loving gang is back, wanting to inventory and control all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all food, all energy, all education, all information, and all human beings in the world. To have total control of your life and even whether you will live or die, according to whether or not you are essential to their needs. That means most of us expendable. Unless we wake up and put a stop to this incredibly evil plan, we will become victims of another holocaust. However, instead of exterminating 6 million people, this time they hope to exterminate over 6 billion. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.